Hey there guys and goals, my name is Jet and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. In today's video, we are in Disney's Dreamlight Valley in the peaceful meadow where we are building a cozy cottage core neighborhood based around our new premium shop item, the French Bakery. If you please could excuse me, I am going through a bit of an allergy thing, so excuse my voice. And before we get into our build, I would ask, like to ask you to please hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification button as it does help me and my channel out a lot. With spring coming, I have been heavily into the more natural builds lately, but I will admit that they are something that I tend to struggle with. So you will see quite a bit of transitions here. I'm sorry for that, but I really chose to keep this mostly um, foliage based. So we're using the plaza bushes, the meadow bushes. We're gonna use some of those bush and rock um, combos and then we'll just you know fill it in with some of our favorite beach grass and some barrels because it's cottage core and yeah it's a super actually simple build it's mostly just a lot of greenery and we're gonna use some red flowers and yellow and white just to kind of tie in all the buildings that I selected because they are similar to each other in color tone. I also chose the Peaceful Meadow for this build because my plaza is more of a French country type of vibe. So this kind of flows up into there, though it is kind of a little bit of a different color scheme and it just kind of all pulls it together. Once we have figured out some item placement and softened up the edges of our main pathing with some foliage and some furniture, I'm going to start using the Peaceful Meadow stone clusters to make trails to our farm stand and then around the side of one of our ponds as I am not going to be finishing this entire meadow in today's video just this tiny little neighborhood. So I need to kind of give myself a guide as to where I will go after this because I do plan on adding some farmland and possibly an orchard and another house or two to this area. I'm really hoping that we continue to get more town core slash cottage core type buildings because I am absolutely loving them and I really want to kind of complete all of this with y'all on a future stream. Now that I have a pretty good idea of how I want this entire meadow to be laid out, I'm gonna go ahead and lay some of the white picket fence along the rough edges of our brick path, as well as to frame in that pond that's there next to our bakery. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some more of that foliage just to make the place look a little bit more natural over there. Earlier, I made a little eating area outside of our bakery with just a simple little wooden table and chairs with some crepes upon them. And now I'm gonna go ahead and finish those type of elements by placing a picnic table over in the corner next to the glade. We're gonna add in a little dog house for Pluto next to Mickey's, as well as place our fast travel well over in that same area. And then we're gonna go ahead behind Gassan's and put in a place for target practice. I went ahead and extended our path ever so slightly towards that third pond in our meadow and I moved Goofy's house over there though I don't know if that's where I'll keep it but I just kind of needed a place marker for that spot and then we're going to go ahead and finish up the final details of our build. Thank you. 
As we come to our overhead shot and our final walkthrough, I would like to give a huge shout out to my channel members. Your support of me and my channel mean the absolute world to me. And for those of you who have made it to the end of this video, I would like to thank you so much for joining me today. Wish you the best day ever. And to remind you to keep it spooky, but most importantly, keep it kind. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye guys.